Alright, oh, hello everybody, and in this video we'll be having a go at Photos Legacy Systems again. So what I'll do is I'll cut the video and I'll be back. Alright then, so we'll be having a go at Photos Legacy Systems again. And Photos Legacy Systems... Yeah, Photos Legacy Systems is actually a video editor and but it can be a photos app as the name suggests. Now if you ever did install the Photos Legacy Systems and use the video editing app the video editing app will open up Photos Legacy Systems where you can do your video editing through there. Now if you open Photos Legacy uh, if I if I show you so if you open Photos Legacy it won't actually allow you to edit the edit uh, videos for some reason you need to edit you need to open the video editor and that will open up Photos Legacy as I am um, said and as I said earlier now I did do several videos of the Photos Legacy um, but Um, yeah. So yeah, I did do several videos of the Photos Legacy, but a lot of the videos they were a little bit sort of rushed and you know not as prepared, and that is because I was somewhere with out of the internet connection but now I have an internet connection present. Also I did do a video this week on Photos Legacy but I don't know what happened to it so this is going to be a video of the Photos Legacy. So this is going to be a much better video compared to the other videos that I was mention, uh, mentioning because I have had time to use the Photos Legacy and quite a bit. So, yes. Um, okay, I'll just add a few videos and I'll be back. Alright then, so I had to add a few of my screen recordings. So, let me go ahead and hide the OBS. The video clips I did have on my device had music to them and I didn't really want to add something with, with music. So When I first started using Photos Legacy, I did find it very confusing and I, find it, and I found it very hard to use and edit my videos and I was almost going to give up actually but what you need to do is you, before you can edit your videos you need to add the videos to your storyboard so what you need to do is um, choose the videos that you need to add to this storyboard in this case we can select multiple videos and we can uh, place them into the storyboard and now as you can see we got the play button so if you did have the play button before or if you did see the play button it would have been it would have been the sables Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, it would have been disabled. 
So, yeah, when is it? Alright, so let's click on play. Alright, hello everybody. And in this video, we'll be having a go at Photos Legacy System. Okay. So, I might as well tell you how I edit my videos with the Photos Legacy. So, so you can see for yourself. Okay, so I'm going to let the uh, video play. Oh, hello everybody. And in this video, we'll be having a go at Photos Legacy Systems again. Okay. Alright then, so what we could do is we could trim. And sometimes what I do is I go backward. Now one thing I don't like about the Photos Legacy is that you is when you go back and forth between two things. Oh no, I, sh I should have um, split the video, I shouldn't have trimmed. Okay, let's undo that. Oh, alright. Alright then, I realise I should have split the video instead of trimmed it. Alright, hello everybody. And in this video, we'll be having a go at Photos Legacy Systems. Okay. Split. So what we can do is we can probably speed it up. One dot seventy five X. And let's add a motion effect. I don't use the motion effects often, I don't add the motion effects often. I use the 3D more often than the motion effects. I think the tilt up sounds interesting, so we're going to add the tilt up. Although I don't use the tilt up very often, as I said. So I think we're going to go to another video. So I'm going to split this video. So I'm going to add a 3D effect now. You don't obviously have to split the video to add a 3D effect. But uh, I am going to. So let's add our 3D effects. Now obviously you can use the tab key to go along and tab if you wanted to. So snowflakes falling and I often like that effect quite a lot. Aurora. And I think what we would do is we will add two 3D effects. Aurora, 
Now what you can do is you can do multiple 3D effects before heading out of the 3D section if you really wanted to, which is um, need to make sure that the edit effect is on. So you can do edit effect on X axis. Uh, so I think we might want to take the effect on the X axis. I don't use the resize effects uh, too often, the resize effect icon too often. Okay. End of effect at 12 seconds. Okay, I think we will leave that there. And now what we could do is we could add another 3D effect. And I think we'll go for my favourite one, which is Snowflakes Falling, which I do use a lot, as I said. So I'm going to say the start of effect is going to be at 12 seconds. That's good enough. This can be a little bit slow when you're using it with the arrow keys. Well, we've got to we've got the thing to end at 23 seconds. Click on done. Okay. okay, so this is the war effect adding now. Photos Legacy Systems is actually a video photo as the name suggests. Now, I think I had multiple effects going at the same time. But anyway, that is that. So, I think the final thing that I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you how to add title cards and this is pretty easy all you have to do is you just need to press the applications key or um, you would use the right click I think uh, right click on the touchpad or the mouse and that will bring up the uh, menu the contextual menu and oh, title card So, so you can tap over to text or you can head over to text whatever you are using or you can go to the applications key again and
Uh, go there, I think we'll add another title card and show you how you can get there um, in a minute. So, this uh, is a test. This is um, on. So you can choose the layout, animated text style, classic. Let's click on left. Now we are going to add another title card. And now what you can do is you can Oh, that's better. Oh, uh, let's click on text. Now, usually you could go into the edit section and then click on text, but I think this may have updated itself or something like that. So I'm going to click on test. This is using the Now you can adjust the durations. And you can type in a duration. So I think one of the things I'm going to show you finally is the music. And you do have a selection and a choice of background music. And the music is surprisingly good. Sadly, you can't add your own background music. Well, you can add your own background music, but that won't play repeatedly uh, throughout the video like this background music does. Another sad thing is that you can't choose whether this background music starts and ends so so this is the anodized tune so I do like this tune and I do use that in my projects as well and there is another thing another tune I use but I'm not going to bother with um, tuning this in uh, this video <laughs> so another final thing what I want to show you is this here video quality and you can only go up to 1080p I think it is sad in my opinion that you don't uh, have a 4k export because I think a lot of people would be expecting 4k I mean full HD is fine but um, 4k is probably you know like a bonus or even better but uh, you know there's nothing wrong in full HD whatsoever <laughs> alright then well um, this is a video on how to use the photos legacy systems I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope this video has proven helpful to you Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more videos to come.
and we'll see you soon.